what is up YouTube dev sage here and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to scrape Donald Trump's Twitter page for all of his recent tweets here um, so for this we're gonna be using node.js so if you don't have node.js installed you need to go to node.js.org and install it pretty simple process doesn't take too long but if you already have it installed we can go ahead and jump in so all right if we go open our editor and uh, we're going to go ahead and run npm init and there's our package.json so we're going to be using two node packages one of the packages is called request and the other is cheerio so if we go ahead and run npm install request cheerio take a few seconds for that to install okay so now we have that and now we need to create our uh, index.js file so the first thing we're gonna do here is import request and Cheerio const request equals require request and const Cheerio equals require Cheerio and now we're going to um, we're going to call the request method and now we need to put the URL of the web page that we want to scrape so that's that will be this twitter.com slash real Donald Trump so if we just copy that paste that in and then the second argument for this method is going to be a callback function so we can just pass in an, uh, an arrow function with the error the response and the body um and now we need to check to see if we sent a valid request or that we got a valid response rather so we need to see if not error and um response dot status code equals 200 that means everything checks out okay and we can go ahead and parse that information um if that if uh let's let's go ahead and just console log the body of the message um, we should be getting back the the all the HTML um, raw HTML for this particular page it's not gonna look too pretty but this is just to see if it's working All right, we're gonna save that and we're gonna run it now you could run it by using npm start but I use a tool called nodemon because it allows you to it uh it auto reloads whenever you make a change to your document if you use npm start every time you make a change you would have to restart the server so I'm gonna use nodemon if you want to install nodemon and check it out you can say npm install globally uh, nodemon node monitor that's what it stands for but uh you can use npm start if you want to but I'm gonna use nodemon so we're gonna run it and now you can see that we're printing all of the looks like we got some HTML here and this is all of the HTML uh, for Donald Trump's Twitter page here so now we need to extract certain pieces of information out of it uh, in particular these tweets so if you know jQuery this is gonna kinda look familiar this next part um, but basically what we need to do we need to find uh, how the tweet we need to find a pattern for the tweets basically so if we inspect one of these tweets this is the part oh, well, let's close that if we go here we can see that the tweet is inside of a paragraph with the class of tweet text size okay that's one tweet let's go down and see if it's the same for all the other tweets okay and now we we can see that this tweet is also inside of a paragraph with the class of tweet text size so we can probably use um, that selector to kind of grab the tweets out of all of that raw HTML that's what Cheerio allows us to do so if we go back and get rid of that you need to say uh, let's see um paragraph with the class of what was it tweet text size and we need to iterate through each of those and we're gonna say um, let's 
I believe it's index and then item and then we're gonna just get an arrow function in there and then we're gonna log item just to see what this should return is a list of well it should return an object this object represents all of those paragraphs that we just selected so now let's let's add like a bar under each of them so we don't clump them all together and error oh what we didn't do I forgot a step we need to go up and load we need to say const dollar sign equals cheerio dot load body okay all right so now it sent the request and it loaded the body into cheerio and now we have a list of objects that we that we got back that represents the paragraph tag you can see it an object with a type of tag name of p so these are the paragraph tags but what we want in particular is the text that was inside the paragraph so we need to go down and try to see if we can find that oh and it looks like this looks like one of the tweets here inside of the children there's an there's a children array and the first element is an object and that object has a data attribute and it looks like the tweet one of the tweets that we're looking for so we can probably uh, what we can do we can say item dot was that children and it's an array so index zero and then inside of that dot data and that should represent the tweet inside of it so if we save that it's going to auto reload and yeah there it is looks like we have for the most part uh, all of Donald Trump's tweets here now there is an issue with this for one it only grabs the uh, of uh, so many tweets the first handful of tweets um, because I mean as you scroll down you can get more and more but the this particular scraper only grabs the first handful of tweets also I think another problem is um, notice how some of these tweets are say undefined like right here or this one just has three four dots which I'm pretty sure represents this tweet so what it is it's it's not being able to read the entire tweet because it has mentions um, it's adding NASCAR and Martin Truex Jr. so if we inspect the element we can kinda see why if we see like a so our selector was paragraph with the class of tweet text size um let's get back here but as you can see we have some other stuff in this particular tweet at NASCAR this is inside of an anchor tag and then he has another mention he mentions in Martin Truex Jr. here which is inside of another anchor tag and this particular scraper right now is not able to read it so um that that can be kinda like a, a take-home project for you guys um, if you can figure out how to uh, how to read the entire tweets with mentions and I believe hashtags are create a little bit of a problem too so but this is just a basic scraper for you know, basic basic Donald Trump tweets if you like this video uh, consider subscribing you know leave a like leave a comment if you want the code you know I can send it over to you if you want um but yeah if you like the video subscribe and peace